guys and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl jakima nakaya and i am back i am back with another video y'all this hair is by kima wigs this hair was only 30 dollars at the local beauty supply store so if you have not already and you want to try this hair i definitely would recommend that you do it's super thick super pretty and you can kind of pretty much do whatever you want with it so it does come with the paper in the inside also it comes with a netted wig cap that goes over the wig if you're looking for something that actually comes with the wig cap inside i wouldn't recommend this you would have to definitely buy you one outside of the wig this is then the color 1b i like my wigs to be a little bit dark my hair is actually pretty dark i usually try to dye it jet black whenever it's not dark anymore so that's just my preference but they had this wig and multiple other colors that you can also get if need be and the inside this wig also comes with three combs and the adjustable straps so that way you can make it bigger or smaller depending on your head size this wig is big head friendly if you have a bigger head and it is small head friendly if you have a smaller head you just use adjustable straps to make it smaller before applying the wig you would like to take off the tag on the side it comes with like a silver color band you want to take that off yeah as you guys can see i am running my finger straight through this wig it goes through so smoothly this hair is so pretty and it was a lot thicker than what i thought that it would be if you want to you can go in and add makeup to your part i did not add any to my part because i just wanted to see what it would give fresh out of the bag so i hope that you guys really 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 like this wig as much as i did as you can see i'm pulling it in the front on each side to not only get the combs inside but to make sure that it is as snug as i would like it to be you want to play with the hair as much as possible because you want to know if it sheds or if it does not shed this hair did not give me any shedding no matter what i did with it i combed it i brushed it i fly earned it and i did not have any shedding so the hair is in really 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 good as you guys can see i'm combing through it i'm looking at myself trying to figure out what i like and what i don't like about it but i did love everything about it except the dark part but again i didn't want to do too much with my part knowing that i just wanted to give you guys like a natural review this right here is just fresh out the pack and this is what it looks like this is what it's given it looks really 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 good but now i'm gonna go in and do some things of how i would want it i'm gonna go and i'm gonna cut my ends and i'm going to make it just a, a little bit more my style but as you guys can see, this is just fresh out the pack. It looks so good and so, 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 so pretty. I was really, really, really loving this wig. I couldn't believe how good it looked just coming fresh out the pack. But as you guys can see now, I am combing. I am combing with the paddle brush to kind of make sure that everything is even and pretty. I'm putting everything into place and where it would be if I was to wear it. Now I'm going to go in and grab my flat iron because I want to bump my ends just a little bit more. It wasn't as bumped under as I prefer, so I went in, plugged my flat iron up. I'm going to attempt to show you guys my flat iron, but I don't think you can see it. I put it at 350. This wig can hold up to 500 degrees. I mean 400 degrees excuse me but i had it at 350. i don't want to burn this hair up i want this hair to last again i'm going in i want to have like the layered look in the front like the 90s layered look so i'm going in on each side to cut off any excess hair and as you guys can see i really didn't take off too too much just enough to make it where it looks like a layered look the wig already comes layered but it's like um a blunt layer and i want it to be more of like a flowy layer so i'm not cutting off too much like look at it again i did it up close that way you guys can see not too much just just enough for me to enjoy it and then i'm gonna go through with my flat iron and bump that under as much as possible you can cut more you can cut less you don't have to cut at all that's just my preference when it came to this wig 
And I know I keep saying I really didn't cut off that much, but I really didn't. It seemed like I did because it keeps on showing me cutting, 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 cutting. But I really was cutting off a little bit at a time. I really wasn't cutting off too, too much. But now I'm brushing everything back into place so that way I can go in with the flat iron and get everything silky straight and bumped under as much as I want. Y'all, these flat irons get so, so high. I got these for Christmas a couple of years ago from my mom. These get really, really high. I would recommend you guys to get these exact flat irons because they will get you silky, silky, silky straight. No matter if it's your natural hair, a wig, any kind of hair any kind of texture these flat irons will get you right again i didn't have to go over each thing that many times but i wanted to make sure that i had that big bump that i wanted i didn't want to give too too much but also didn't want to give too less so i went in and just did my preference and again that's nothing that you have to do it's just something that i chose to do for myself So now I am done flat ironing the hair. I am done doing the bumps and I can honestly say I am super duper duper satisfied with how this look. I'm bringing everything down in the front because I am going to go in and cut off the ends of the hair. I like my hair to look a little bit more blunt whenever I'm wearing it in the front. I don't want it to kind of just look like it's all different lengths. I like it to look like it's just one length and especially with a very, very, very thick wig. I like everything to look very neat so me cutting off the ends made it look a lot more neater and I really enjoyed that I love it so much if you guys want to get this wig like I said is at any beauty supply store you can also get it online you can get it on Sam's Beauty you can also order this wig on Amazon this is a chemo wig and I got it in the color 1B you guys look at that look at that it looks so good i am so happy with this purchase bay actually bought me this wig so shout out to her yeah anyway make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time toodles subscribe and support came up wing machine got the best page yeah she looks so clean hit that button Button, button, hit that button, uh, button. That's uh. my shit, yo. <laughs>